Is the New World PvP Arena patch the best open world PvP patch we've had in New World? And weirdly, the answer to that might be yes. And Abinomi was then thinking about how we could maintain it whilst correcting the obviously broken issue of the moment. Now, what am I referring to here? So obviously in the PvP Arena patch, we've had the PvP reward track. And naturally, players are trying to get up that PvP reward track as quickly as possible. And it's pretty obvious that there were two main standout ways of getting that up. One of them was fort flipping where you would basically get two factions who effectively agreed that oh i'll take this and cap it now and then you'll cap it after that and then we'll cap it after that and you would get xp and salt all because of that right and that was very good xp and salt so players have been doing that now that i read on the forums today is a punishable offense whether or not they'll catch everybody i mean i strongly doubt it but obviously if you have two factions who are literally agreeing to just exchange something without the fighting that's a problem and then the secondary problem is the one of the great clear pvp mission because pvp missions are repeatable and there's no cap on them you can effectively just do them over and over to get i think it's 500 xp per mission and 300 salt and the best place to do these pvp missions is great cleave so what you're seeing is basically you're seeing everybody head to great cleave especially on barry at the minute it's generally dominated by the green faction because there's probably more greens than the other factions therefore if any other faction come they have to come well coordinated and in like sizable numbers but basically you have a lot of green people just literally put pushing PvP missions in Great Creep on repeat which is interesting because you would have thought in the PvP arena patch you would want people to actually be doing PvP arenas and maybe Outpost Rush you know those would be the core pillars of the content you would think that Amazon would want to push however arenas are capped if you do 40 games by the way which I think for most people is way too many uh, yes if you're a hardcore PvP you probably can do like 40 victories and I'm not 100% sure if it's 40 games or if it's 40 victories because you don't get the XP if you you lose basically you don't have don't get the xp or you don't get the salt i can't 100 remember off the top of my head but either way if you lose you don't get full rewards uh, you don't even get you don't even get one of the rewards if that makes sense if you win sure you get decent xp decent salt now that cap is probably like reasonable enough but the question is like why would you cap pvp arenas like that and just let pvp missions go free i mean i don't have the answer to that and perhaps never will i definitely think the pvp arena cap at this point should just get removed i just don't see the point of it and it's not really a cap it once you hit that cap i think it's diminishing returns so it doesn't necessarily all go away now but okay it's because there's no cap anywhere else that the problem there really arises so the question is is this is actually a problem and i'm not 100 sure it is obviously i think bot win trading is a problem if you can literally just agree to give it up and i think the way to solve that problem is to probably just absolutely cap that and nerf that into the ground but with people running missions in great cleave yes i'm green on a green populated server so i'm getting the rewards where the yellows and purples aren't and i can see how the faction imbalance there might cause a bit of an issue and sure that's definitely a problem as well but the true story is we are literally pvp flagged in a pvp zone where you are trying to do missions if there's more of us it's not really pvp but in theory it's possible that we could get pvp'd and that's the sort of risk versus reward we are literally in the open world pvp flagged and granted at the minute purples and yellows are sort of like just either coming in small groups and trying to catch people on the edges or the firing muskets from the rocks or what have you and i understand that because what else are they to do you know it makes sense so i'm not advocating here that the great cleave thing shouldn't be changed i actually think it should but what i think should happen is we shouldn't necessarily nerf it because we should be sort of happy to some extent that we're getting open world pvp it's not really pvp if it's just one faction dominated i appreciate that my solution would be to not nerf the missions but to buff arenas and outpost rush sure your hardcore people are going to absolutely blast their way to like pvp rank 200 but i've been doing these missions like as much as i can and i'm like level 13 at this rate it would take me absolutely ages to get to anywhere near 200 like i just don't see how that's necessarily going to be feasibly possible for me in like a year's time Time probably so i think that they should increase the amount of xp that arenas and outpost rush give like force people well don't force people but twist their hands so that they actually want to go and do that and that's more rewarding than doing missions but don't take away the missions as an option because you are actually seeing pvp in the open world and yes it's a little bit like imbalanced at the minute because it's faction dominated but if you make it so it's just one of the better ways of doing it rather than the absolute best way of doing it you might see the numbers sort of even out a little bit so in asking the question is this the best open world pvp like like we've patched it we've had in the game it's a little bit like tongue-in-cheek because obviously i think most people can look at fort win trading and be like that's bad and most people can probably look at like one faction just running pve 
PvP missions, which are effectively PvE because there's not actually much PvP going on. And then them being the highest ranked players in a PvP reward track also feels a little bit weird. But it's almost nice to have open world PvP. Like, it's the most I've seen people in the open world doing stuff. And I actually, I sort of like it, but I wish it was a little bit more varied. So maybe you could actually just get rid of the Great Cleave missions and make it so that PvP missions in all the other zones were sort of like good as well. Maybe like buff them. I know that might be a little bit weird. I want to buff PvP missions, but turn off the Great Cleave missions. And I also possibly want to buff like Arena and Outpost Rush. You know, maybe that would be the solution. Maybe, who knows? I don't know. They need to find the right balance between that so that everything is like equally viable. And in that sense, we then might have open world PvP in numbers that aren't just like 400 versus 20, something like that. So a little bit of a rambly video today, but this is just something that like over the weekend, whenever I was logging in, I was pretty much just going to Great Cleave and trying to do the missions. It was as simple as that. So it's in my mind. I'm sure it's in a lot of your guys' minds at the minute. I know there's some people on my server who are yellow and purple who aren't happy about it. And I understand that as well. I, I think it is a little bit unfair and nobody wants to be like trying to transfer or change faction just to get up in a PvP reward track. That's really not where we want to be at. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, do press like. If you're interested in you, will make sure you subscribe. Have a most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Goodbye.